Aloha everybody, Tom Tizak with Hawaii Life. And today I really wanted to share with you what's happening in Maui uh, with the devastating fires that we've been having and what people are doing and how they're reacting and the amazing stories that I've heard of how people are trying to just pull together to help each other here on the island. And also to talk about what does Maui need? Because we are in such a, a space where there's so many needs at the moment and so many people want to help. And we're just trying to figure out how can we direct our friends, our family, our clients in a way that really helps the island? First thing is, is cash. You know what? There's a lot of people that are saying, oh, we need diapers and we need feminine products. We need toothpaste. And we all, we need all that. But the challenge is getting it distributed in a fashion that's really working. By donating cash and financial commitments to our island through the various charities that are 501Cs and I can will provide some links to those. That way the money is getting directed straight to Maui, straight to the people that need it through the facilitators that are doing this at no cost. And that's so important. Uh, it was really important for, for me to be giving the money to an organization that is has the process to put this in place to make sure that the money goes into the right hands and to the people that sincerely need it. So that's the first thing. What do we need? We need cash. The second thing is, is, as our island starts to stabilize after this crazy event, you know, unfortunately, the governor said, don't go to Maui. The airline said, don't go to Maui. The mayor said, don't go to Maui. And then he retracted. And just in the last couple of days, I said, wait a second. We really do need our tourism engine. Tourism is the biggest engine for our island. And yes, we want to be respectful. Lahaina and the west side has been devastated. The challenge is that going forward in the future, if everyone stops coming here, if all our tourists stop coming to the island, the south side of the island, which has now become the economic engine of the island, Kihei, Waialea, and McKenna, which are unaffected. The air quality is fine. The rooms are available. There is space. We have employees and workers that are out there trying to bust tables and trying to wait on tables and create opportunities for people to be here and create income for their families. If our tourism market goes away, they will suffer again. And in talking to uh, one of my mentors, he just shared with me, he's very prolific in the concept of the working poor. And so many people through COVID were just starting to recover. And and we, we, we he called them the working poor, and I never thought about it that way, but they were just getting back on their feet out of COVID. And now this hits, and to take that tourism engine out will be so incredibly devastating. So we need to be sensitive and we need to balance that because it's so important to respect the island and respect the people that have had such great losses. But there's so many other people right now that in talking to a manager at one of the hotels in South Maui, he said, my crew needs to work. In fact, those folks that had four or five people in their home now have 10 and 12 people because they're housing their family, they're housing their friends and they need the work. So please be respectful. Give us a couple weeks. But if you have reservations in September, October, November, please come and bring extra money so that you can spend it here with our island because we're really going to need your help, your tourism, your dollars to support because it is going to be a very hard place for a lot of the families that live here and work here. And so that's the second thing we need. Third, if you pray, pray for us. Because you know what? That's one of the things that everybody can do. If you don't have any money, you don't have any time, you can't get here, you can do that. So I encourage you to do what you can do. Keep Maui in your thoughts and keep remembering that we are gonna need help today. We need lots of help today. But don't forget that in a week, in a month, in three months, in six months, we are gonna continue to still need help. And I'll be putting out a call for fundraising again, because this is just the first round. And we're, we're going to continue to ask you to help our community. And it's going to be in whatever ways we need. So I appreciate you watching this video. I hope I didn't offend anyone, but I also want you to know that we need your help. And, and it's not just Lahaina, it's upcountry, it's Kula they have been so impacted as well. And I just don't want to forget about our neighbors up in the mountain on the hillside where there's been just massive amounts of damage as well. It's been overshadowed by Lahaina, which was 
so much more dramatic, but they're both suffering. So if you'd like to help, please let us know. Please, we'll put the link in for our fundraising arm. We've already matched $10,000. My company, Hawaii Life, matched in another $50,000. And I believe we're going to be posting that we're going to be doing more matching funds, which allows your money to go even farther. So I'm Tom Tezak with Hawaii Life in Maui, Hawaii. And I hope you have an amazing day. And uh, please do what you can do.